They'll be calling you a radical. That's going to be an emotional video for me, for you, for all of us. I'm going to talk about some things that people can say whatever they want. They can talk about the relevancy of my activism, the story. Oh, it's on YouTube, so it's not real one. Really, YouTube is the most powerful genre in the history of mankind, bar none. When I put up that video yesterday, I didn't know she was dead. I did not know. I thought that she had, they just came forward and had, were saying, hey, she's got liver cancer, she's in the fight of her life. I didn't know she'd die. I want to call this out. It, I mean, it really broke me down. It really broke me down for a lot of reasons. As the Ukraine and Utah, we have so much in common. The 350 open air tests in Utah, as we want to talk about downwinders in past tense. I let writers, they talk about it in past tense. They like it's past tense. Now, Carol Gallagher, she doesn't, in American Ground Zero. The rest of them that really were in the know, Stegner, Abby, you know, Richard Miller, all that I knew, all Utahns that have passed and gone, it's not past tense. You know, Mike Lee, right on camera, it's right on camera. My dad was a downwinder, Kevin. I prepped him, I prepped his aide for that conversation. He didn't know who Fukushima was. Yet he could sit and talk about his tragic death of his father so young. By the way, he short sold his house for $600,000 and you, and he wants to cut $200 a month in food stamps for the impoverished, the working class. I'll get into that in this video too. I did the math and emailed it to him how many years it would take his $60,000 of $200 a month. He, we, they talk about it like it's Pat. Plutonium's half life 24,500 years. I remember years ago, I was really studying Russia, really getting into the thesis, and I'm like, my God, how much pain have they gone through? The famine, lost 26 million men, World War II, just over and over, and then, of course, Chernobyl. Chernobyl, and, you know, I talk about famine because they called the attention of the tragic death just this, you know, here I'm talking about so much. I didn't know that she was sick. 30 year old women. Marquee world-class athlete, dying of cancer? Oh yeah, that's normal. That's the normal path of humanity. That's the normal path of life. And denial? But I remember reading along years ago about the average lifespan in Russia. And I'm like, my God, is it really that low? You know, I'm talking 50 years old, 51 years old. And I remember this professor told me, well, you know, they drink vodka, you know, and it was just American propaganda. The Cold War thesis, the Gorbachev-Reagan thesis, the so thing that the Cold War never stopped. It was, I mean, we're so wrong about that thesis over there. It's Chernobyl. It's Chernobyl, it's Chernobyl, Chernobyl. When I was in the hospital, and I do that, that's got to be, there's no doubt in my mind, that is the number one best piece of art, most powerful, most meaningful piece of art I ever did. Bar none. Bar none. That mountain in the background, that's the Scottish Ben Lomond Mountain, and this girl was Scottish. Born in the Ukraine. When I was in the hospital, that little girl was going to do that with me, and she was going to put pasties over with the central line hanging at it. That was the Pussy Riot Day that we did that. I did that. That little girl passed away two days before. Beautiful. I remember her with her bald hair and those stunning blue eyes. You know, chemo girls with no hair and that perfect skin. It's such a purity process going through that death process, going through because it takes a long time. The purity process, and I'm really a true believer in this. I'm really very spiritual about this. Whether it be pagan, the spirits there be. That life is a test, but I really believe that death through cancer takes the very pure. It is a purification process, and I surely was not good enough. My, you know, Paul and Carter, the people that I was really fighting with, you know, both died last February, one day apart. They were so much better than me. You know, so many, I've watched this over and over and over. And the same day that this young, beautiful, incredible woman passes away from liver cancer at 30 years old. World-class marquee athlete. 
the same day I think this needs to be hammered in concrete, in stone, chiseled in stone, the same day the UN issues a statement that cancer rights will not spike, have not spiked, will not spike from Fukushima while Fukushima is ongoing. These are the same fuckers that told you Chernobyl killed 4,400 fucking people. Price Anderson, over and over, these fucking, e these are crimes against humanity. And tell people fucking rose the mobs turn on these motherfuckers. Just like these fuckers that marched my father into the fucking trench. Gave me leukemia probably before I was born as it piles on. These are crimes against humanity. This is a great, great book I found in the library. I snoop around those old libraries from landscape to library. That's where I spend all my time. This is such an incredible book about Michelangelo. I was reading in here his poetry. I mean, his poetry is heartbreaking towards the end of his life. What used to want to make me so puppets if they have made me in the end like him. Who crawled the water and then drowned in slopes. My honored art wherein I was for a time in search esteem has brought me down to this porn old under another's thumb. I am undone if I do not die fast. You think about this. It's the, maybe the greatest artist of all time. He talks about, and sorry about that reading, you know, the chemo did affect my glasses, the heavy chemo. That's one thing that my guy said. This book has never been opened. You can see in our life. I have tons of stuff like this. This is where I get a lot of my, I, I love books like this. I go crazy over books like this. He talks about the four forms of communication. Pope wanted him dead for telling the truth. His nephew, Leonardo, which he hated the other Leonardo. His nephew. The Pope wanted to rewrite history. He wanted to change history. His nephew snuck in there to the chapel in Rome. And he stole his body. I think it's the greatest story. And he packed that body on his mule and on his back, back to Florence. Took him a long time. And he could have been killed for it. Oh yeah, absolutely could have been killed, but he did it anyway because he was not about to let these hairsprayed masquerade party Christians, fake liars, who were no Christians, rewrite history. He wouldn't have it. You know, they painted over his stuff, they chiseled down his stuff. He was the plaster, the freaking fresco artist, the philosopher. He talked about the four forms of communication, poetry, sculpting, painting. By the way, his, his paintings are not that great, you know, as far as a technician. His sculptures, oh my god. Oh, they're, I mean, they're so amazing. The activists out there, as Jeff Shaw sent me this about Galena. By the way, he did an incredible, his group, they did this incredible in symphony with our movement, piece of art. There's been a lot of art come forward. The people that I've seen that are working on Ackerman's walkings, the one going up, oh, oh, wow, wow. You could feel this happening. Until people realize that the UN, the IEA, the Nuclear Regulatory Committee, these people, and the line has become the thesis of our world. And all your money can't another buy it. You know, we're talking about my hedge fund. You know, Miss Fru, who I love her work, says, hey, they're the problem. Yes, no doubt. I agree. I know that they're the doubt. But we have to fight them from within. We have to fight them from within. That's what I'm going to do. Did I ever believe that I would ever become a full-time activist? Never in a million years. But, of course, in spite that I was ever born to set this right, I have watched so much death growing up in Utah from leukemia. Clear back to as a young man, my neighbor Ronnie, you know, my brother's girlfriend when we were in high school, teenager Christina, all these leukemia, 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 leukemia. The life expectancy in that region is like 51 years old. A swath has been vacated for time and all eternity. Our wolf spirit, the wolves are the only thing that stays forever 
half the size, three quarters of the size of the United States. Fukushima for this cover up, the mob be running them out. There's a great activist named Sam Posey in Connecticut, by the way. They're doing a protest up at Pilgrim, get your cameras going, who has worked in this industry for generations. These spent fuel pools, when they leak, they go in there well. I mean, he's been all over the world. I mean, his brain and his knowledge, that's the type of people that I meet in my activism. The activism in New York who traveled from Connecticut, upstate New York, from all over when I did my gigs, wow. I mean, we get a big turnout when I show up in New York. We get a big turnout. And I'm telling you, talk about the real deal, Tom Blue and all of them. I mean, they are amazing. Harry Koppenheimer, you know, Kevin the Young Baby Wolf, you know, Brian upstate there in Albany. I mean, these people are the real deal. They're intelligent, they're dynamic, they're hardworking. As I've read post ignorance, when I was in the hospital thinking that I may go in February of 2012, so sick. I think what kept me a lot alive was my fight against San Onofre from my room. Everybody was, I was getting thousands of emails. This is when the acute situation was going on with me and Fukushima. And so it was just pounding to me. Everybody was coming to me. I was getting in. I was getting all that leaked information for San Onofre and I was linking it out. And, you know, you can watch those things. I mean, I kept that militant fight. You know, you type in Blue Castle nuclear generator, you're going to get me hanging out of a, you know, at the top of LDS hospital, the central line, almost dead. Boy. I, that was probably the most powerful activism. What I did to those phony fucking punks. This is a fucking war until we realize it. Girls like this die by the hundreds of thousands every year. Just like her. Just like her. And men. The men of Chernobyl, fuck, they're all dead. I mean, so many of them. We don't even know that story in America, 580,000 men. Just like we don't know what's going on in Russia. Or, excuse me, in Japan. The mob in there behind freaking things. There's probably in north of 10,000 of those guys already dead. Putting people in prison for even talking about it. You think about that. How this fucking country and world is not completely fucking psychotic out. How come mobs are not in the fucking streets? The black and yellow media fucking whores. It's, these are crimes. What are you people going to realize? These are fucking murders. This is mass fucking murder. And any fuckers that do not believe that nuclear fallout is not directly correlated with fucking death via cancer are fools. The atomic veterans, the 40,000, the 60,000 arms, the 100,000, we know that from them. We know that fact. The downwinders of Utah, we know the cancer capital of the world for a reason here. Chernobyl, we know Chernobyl, Chernobyl, Chernobyl. Ch to understand Fukushima, you have to understand Chernobyl. To understand fucking Chernobyl, you have to understand the UN. To understand the UN, you have to understand the IEA. To understand the IEA, you have to understand about the wealth and the power structure there be. These people are fucking control freaks, sick sociopath fuckers. Her death breaks my fucking heart. I put up that video, I did not know she was dead. I knew she was in the fight. 30 year old Marky, world class athlete, and I think it's an incredible irony, from Scotland. That young woman who did that great video, what did she call herself, lady whatever, in Scotland? Brava, brava, magnifico. Wow, wow. It gives me so much hope. I was so discouraged when I come back from San Francisco. Blisters on my feet, my fight. I'm like, fuck. Really, you could tell in my videos, Hastings cut off. We go out there, such an historical fucking place and time. I try to get people to go there with me and they'll say, oh, you go first. We'll come later. They don't come later. I go into dangerous fucking places and I do what I gotta fucking do because I hate these fuckers. Because I understand they're fucking murderers. And I understand that the fucking black and yellow fucking media that goes along with it are just as fucking guilty. The Sanche Guptas of the world, the Fox News of the fucking world, all these fuckers. You fuckers go in denial about nuclear fallout, go in denial about Fukushima. To understand Fukushima, you have to understand Chernobyl. To understand Chernobyl, you understand this girl's death. You understand the hundreds, if not thousands. Femen understands. Pussy Riot understands. That's where they're rooted. The fucking lie of the Ukraine. Putin's fucking lie. The fucking New World Order. No, the old world. It's a feudal system 100 years ago. As Wall Stegner said, if you believe in... If you think the Germans invented genocide, you know nothing about the American West. Killed man, woman, child. Scalps, the natives knew. The Native Americans always knew. They knew the power of the wolf. The wolf's the only thing surviving in Chernobyl. They knew. They knew. Megan Rice sitting in a prison cell. Megan Rice, Megan Rice, Megan Rice, Megan Rice, Greg Michael. Megan Rice, Megan Rice, Megan Rice. 
I've been to her detention center. I didn't, couldn't get in to see her. I tried. I was there. I was at her trial. I sat in those fucking hearings. As Marion Evelyn Tucker said, little Timothy, that fucking rat, hairsprayed masquerade party. And as I wrote this thesis, while I was dying in there, that's what post ignorance is, and that's what it'll be for. And I will go into the hedge fund industry on my own. I'll do this on my own with the group of you. And we'll fucking put some money together and pay for our fucking activism and pay for our gig and we'll fight these fuckers. You know, unite the clans. William Wallace was a real man 700 years ago. Scotland's fighting. I can see it over there. I see them activists in Scotland. You know, this girl, Perth. You people need to grab onto this. This is very, very, very real. Nuclear fallout is death via cancer. Fact! Fact! And you can deny it, you can say whatever I am, whatever I do, whatever I rant, however I, my ways. Michelangelo again, he talks about the four methods of communication. He didn't have a YouTube camera. He didn't have simultaneous where people could view him all over the world. Can you imagine what he would have done with that? Poetry, painting, sculpting. It's important that we do not let these fucking criminals get away. It's just us. Just us as activists. As David reached into the bag and he pulled out the stone and he slung the stone. And the stone struck the giant in the head and it embedded in the giant's forehead. And the giant fell to the earth. Stay in tuned.